Hey y'all, let's check out Mindful Cove. Hey y'all, welcome to day 30 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be looking around Mindful Cove. This is a forest themed getaway with a focus on mental health resources. So let's do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today I wanted to just go with something chill. I really just wanted something that was going to offset um, a lot of the greenery that we see around us. So no accessories today. I just have my little happy sweatshirt on and my little cargo pants. Shoe action. We're not really going to pan in on the shoes. It's, it's not much to see. The pants are covering most of it. So this is my outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So I'm really excited to see how they incorporate the mental health resources into this land. I am not in the shared environment and this land is TP friendly. So what is this? This looks like a little, it's a mindful cafe, okay. I think mental health resources are so needed everywhere in every way. So many people feel like, um, in order to use mental health resources you have to be going through something and you just don't um it's just good to know information a lot of the times it's a lot of little tools and keys just to help you maneuver through life um just to make things just a little bit more simpler and help you look at things in a better way y'all know i love a good cafe because with the cafe you know it's gonna be some good food that's what we got over here a little coffee oh these pancakes you know blueberries nice and ashy just like real life i'm loving it got the little napkins with the little this looks like some caramel sauce not it's not really giving creamer but this coffee drink yum with the foam on top they got like some this is the OG coffee. You know it's going to be real good and strong. I love it. Not a fan of the cat on the table. But you know, we're we going we gonna to let it slide in Second Life. We're going to let it slide in Second Life. Okay. I love the little teacups and things like that. This land has such a nice, tranquil, peaceful feel to it. I really, really like it. Look at the little Siamese cat with the little, we're going to say orange juice. They It's giving lemons, but I know it's, it's supposed to be orange juice. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Such a cute little quaint cafe. Y'all already know we're about to look at all of this, uh, the, these baked goods. I, I love, ugh. I'll never get tired of looking at the food in Second Life. Never get tired of it. I was so excited when I read the little bio um, about this land because I was like, they called it Mindful Cove. I was wondering if they incorporated mindful things within the land to go with the name. I didn't think it was going to be mental health resources. I was more than pleased when I saw that. That made me even more excited to look around the land. They, they, they ain't cats on everywhere. I mean, cats are, cats are, you know, they peaceful. I, I, I get it. Some people don't like cats. I, I, I love cats. I absolutely love them. They say they're unpredictable. Well, I'm like, hey, so is life. So, I like them. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Thus far, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm so glad that they have the name of the land and they are incorporating the name of the land with the theme on the land. That strawberry cake looks so yummy. I just feel like mental health resources, they should be way more easy, easier to access than they actually are. In real life, they do have a, it's a level of difficulty to get correct, like mental resource help. And I feel like that in itself is an issue. Everyone can use them. Everyone can benefit from them. They're definitely needed. In Second Life, I will say that because Second Life is such a melting pot of people and personalities, you learn by just meeting people that there are some people that have gone through a lot of things in their real life and they come to Second Life as kind of like a do-over. And unfortunately, this looks like a shareable that somebody just didn't get. 
unfortunately people will take advantage of that and they will kind of hone in and pray on your weaknesses if they feel like you have any and so a lot of times although this is supposed to be an outlet for people it becomes more of a burden and just not the happy place that i feel like second life was originally intended to be so how do you is this a door it has to be a door okay there we go it's a door so i don't know what this space is is giving office, but I don't know. We'll look around. This is, what's this sign say? Art as mindfulness. Okay, I like it. I like it, got the little kitty cat. So I do feel like, in my opinion, cats do represent a level of peacefulness. Cats just always look super chill, unless they're mad. And then, and then they don't look so chill. But I mean, who looks chill when they're upset? So it, it's that. So they have some little art over here. They tell you about the artist. Let's see if we can get in closer so you guys can get a better look. So this is, okay. So these are all the artists. Okay. So I guess the, oh, this is old. But... They probably have a lot of uh, the artists that are listed art um, in here. And I really like that. So what are these? This space is just, uh, it's so tranquil and, and just very inviting. I don't know if they offer rentals here. I didn't see anything for rentals, but that doesn't mean they don't have them. I just simply didn't see it. If we run across some, then we'll know for sure. But as of right now, I am not sure. I love this house building that they have. It's really, really nice. It's really nice. And what does this say? Okay. Our ever-growing list of Mindful Cove activities. Okay, so I'm assuming that they might have like things to read here as far as how they have incorporated the mental health resources so i like how they give you skills and then they give you the things that the ways that you can use the skills like recreationally and then like ways to have support and things like that um going back to the skills like if you want to make friends you can go um, outdoors and things like that just kind of explore to make friends in second life you can role play to make friends and then the type of support you can have is just like going around um, finding places where there's people you can meet people by participating in things like sororities and things like that then they also give you like educational things to help you that also go back to the main skills where if you want to like we said if you want to make friends you can make friends at like yoga um, classes just doing exercises you'll find make friends while you're someplace meditating as well as just like overall support groups so I really like how they have all of this kind of mapped out for you I love the light fixtures they have like this bamboo canvas type feel to it it feels very clean and minimalistic I love minimalistic I love maximalism as well. I love this seating. I love how they give you the option to either sit here with someone or you can also sit alone. The views are beautiful from every single angle and I really, really like that. Okay, look, they had some stairs, but I took the other way. I love the plants. This seems like more sitting space and then they have little cushions so you can be comfy. So like, look at this. So you see how you look out and they're just beautiful views. You can see the water and the rocks and just the trees and everything. Is this a door? I was hoping this was a door. I said, I don't want to have to walk all the way to the other side to get in. So what does this say? Each of the bookshelves include reference to various online resources on the identified topics. 
would say if you would like to suggest a resource for us to include under any topic um, or wish to suggest a new topic please contact okay I like that I like how they're not making this like the end all be all they're very open for suggestions and I like this so let's see what options they have to get information on personal growth relationships mindfulness meditation grief and loss professional therapy and exercise and yoga as well as support groups and peer helpers i really really like this i love how they're inviting people to help make this space more educational and more productive and prosperous for everyone who's going to come and enjoy and what this land has to offer i love the way they have these spaces set up it's so just freeing i love the colors i love how the houses are um they have like wood features that go with the trees everything is just very like nature based in my opinion i love this bookshelf let's see what books they have very very nice so I love these books. I love how when they decorated this, they didn't just put a bunch of books in, just kind of like made it where you can't see the back of the shelf. Like they kept it kind of open and freeing. Even though this is a smaller space, it still feels very airy. And I do like that. This is a very chic coffee maker, if I do say so myself. This couch looks so comfy. It's just so fluffy. It looks like you just get it and you just like plop down into it and i really really like that this is really nice i don't know if those people are the people that helped with this land or if it's like the landscapers family or whoever i don't know but hello to them and what is this space this is a really nice office area maybe like a little consultation space for like help if anybody needs to come in and talk to anyone is one of these a door can i just walk out let me see oh i could walk out i love these little seats the view is beautiful it's just a lot of plants and things like that the air here if this was real life the the air here would be immaculate immaculate so let's see what's over here. We still haven't found the stairs. I don't know if we'll be able to access the stairs. Sometimes they'll do parts and they're just not for everyone. So these are meeting rooms. We'll go with two. Let's see what's in two. Cause if they're both meeting rooms and they both probably look the same. So we'll go with two. And this is just like a big meeting room. I love the ground, how they have the little stone. See, they have incorporated that the outside with every inside space and i really really feel um like that is super nice it keeps a nice consistent flow um in the way that the land feels everything um is very cohesive because everything feels like you're still outside the texturing on here is beautiful this definitely looks like leather i love that so i love how this main area goes into like this little forest type space really pretty i love the oh a little bunny can we see the bunny don't hop away i'm trying to look at you give me one second hold up bunny i love the bunnies they look so cute i love how they make the ear hair the ear fur like a little disheveled oh see you later bunny i love this space it's so pretty I love it. I wonder, can you get on the boats? Every space here, they have nice seating options. Can you get on these? I think you can sit on here. Yeah, and it has a nice sit option, um, sit menu, and it also has a cuddle menu. I like how all of the spaces are like relaxation spaces, just spaces that you can come to and just reflect. I love the floating leaves. This space is so nice. I really, really like this. 
So I was really trying to figure out what video I was going to use to close out the April Diamond series. There's so many amazing spaces and places to visit in Second Life, but I wanted a space and a place that really was going to be special or extra special in my opinion. And when I came across this place, it just was absolutely perfect. This seems like like a... I'm thinking, I'm thinking you can sit on these. This seems like a place, a space where you can just come and listen, almost like if it's like a little conference area where people could come and gather. That's exactly what this space is. So they have plenty of seating. All those little circles are different seating options. So if they had like a speaker here, you would just sit here and be able to listen to the speaker and just enjoy the lesson. I was just so happy when I came across this place because I was like, this is going to be perfect. We get some mental health resources to just kind of close out. A lot of people battle a lot of different things in life. And I feel like just being able to have a place in Second Life that will allow you to basically get help with any type of mental health issues, even if it's not any mental health issues that you need help with, just to get more information on things that can just help you deal with everyday life easier. You know, just make things a little bit more easier. Life life be life and even if you feel like your life is perfect, everyone's gonna have a part of their day or a part of their life that just is not perfect. And I feel like when you have the right tools, you're able to maneuver through those difficult times and those difficult spaces in your life that much more better. Mental health resources are very, very important and very much needed to just be able to help that person recognize what's going on and be able to help them pull themselves up out of any dark spaces that they may be in. I love how all of these spaces, they just give you such a free and happy feeling where it's like, if you're sad and you come here, if you're feeling any type of way and you come here, this land is going to be a great picker upper. I'm almost positive that they picked very specific colors to put in these spaces because it's making me feel a different type of way. It's making me feel very happy and cheerful. And it's so beautiful and everything is just, it's so many different things to look at. Like you have the different rocks and you have the different plants and the shrubbery and you have the paths and things like that. They just added so many different elements to kind of keep your brain occupied so that even if you're dealing with some things, this is gonna kind of be able to take your mind off of it. I love all the colors of the trees here. It's like regardless of what season it is, it's gonna it's gonna go. The trees are gonna match it. And I really, really like that. I love all of the different colors, all of the different types of trees. I love it. I love the landscaping here. I really, really do. I've seen a lot of forest themed lands and this is one of the nicer ones for sure. So is this like a little, this is like another little sitting space. It's giving like forest preserve vibes. Kind of like if you don't want to be in some of the main spaces, you can come here and just be able to vibe out and just sit here and have some peace along with your thoughts. Now I know a lot of people kind of say you shouldn't do this, but I am a very big talker. I talk to myself out loud. I feel like that is a very, very good way to get a lot of clarity on things that you might have some answers to. I've never gotten advice. Can you sit on Yeah, This is a nice little meditation spot. I've never gotten advice from someone that was better than the advice that I've gotten for myself. I really, truly believe that when you ask a question out loud and you wait for the answer to come to you, it gives you time to come out of your emotions and to be able to think about the question that was in your head more logically. I feel like when you are emotional and you're talking to yourself in your head, you're in a very emotional space. But when you say it out loud, it, it becomes something that you have to logically think about in order for you to form the correct answers. And so I found that I have been able to come to a lot of clarity 
in those moments, times where I felt like I was right and I could be right, but at the same time, it's like you could have done that better. You could have thought about that person's feelings in a different type of way instead of putting your your uh, self on the forefront. And then it gives you space to go back and apologize and try to right the situation. Um, you can't unring certain bells, but you can recognize that that was something that was an error on your part. And you can work to be a better person to change that in the future. This is so nice. I love these views. This is a nice meditation spot. Look at those trees. For just you or like a group of people, it's plenty of meditation spaces to just come and enjoy. The cushions have lots of different animations in them. I do believe that a lot of times the clarity that you seek, you can get that from within. You simply have to just ask the questions out loud and i promise you the answers will come to you yes it's cool to ask other people for help and things like that i don't feel like that's a bad thing to do at all but sometimes you want to kind of check with yourself first because you might not need their input let me see what's going on with them she looks like she's giving him a little bit of a concert i just want to see the space so i'm I'm here, but I'm not really here. You know, we're, we're taking a Rashida approach right now. I know that's right. Serenade your man. He said, and you did a good job, babe. You did a very good job. I know that's right. I know that's right. How cute was that? And I do understand the concept of you need to ask the right questions in order to get the right answers but sometimes you have to do a little bit of trial and error by yourself before you can ask the right questions i think i found the stairs you guys so we were down here were we here yes we were here i remember that i don't think we came up here what's up here no we did not come up here we found it joe can I just walk in or is this a door right here? Okay. Okay. This looks like a, like a group activity area. Not so much meditation, but more of like a group activity area. This is the wise man with a coin slot on the side of his head. They could have put that coin slot someplace better, but I digress. I love this space. I love how although all the other spaces seem very airy and open, this does have more of like a closed in, secluded, private type feel to it. And I really do like that. We've seen this game on different lands. Let's get deep. Questions to spark lively conversations. What do you miss most from your past? All right, that, that, those are good questions. That's a good uh, opener question. I love these little like wicker straw type cushions. And then they have these cushions that have like the canvas type material on them that look super duper comfy. Love it, love it, love it. I love how they have little secret spots where you'll just be walking and you'll be like, hey, what's that? And then you'll come across a spot that's like really cute like this one. How cute is this? So this is like a real dipped off little chill spot seating area. I love the little branches on the table. The views are beautiful. Is that a weeping willow tree? So pretty. I love these cushions. I love the little rug. I love the table. I love the platform. I love it all. I love coming and saying like the creativity and people when it comes to their landscaping and just the way that they put things together just to make it just so wonderful and just so realistic. These rocks, look at these rocks. So nice. Oh, they have the little water stream. Can we get close to it or is it gonna go into the tree? Oh, how nice is this? Let's see if we can get a little closer. Ooh, they have the little one running water stream. 
it looks so real how pretty is this and it's like running over the rocks y'all i love this this is so nice so pretty oh this is an amazing place to just come and relax i'm telling y'all I, I i challenge you to find a more relaxing space they they really they outdid themselves at mindful cove they they really really did i love every single aspect of everything so I really enjoy coming to Mindful Cove with you all. When you guys come here, make sure you get a landmark so that you'll be able to come back here with your friends or just by yourself. Pass this landmark around to any and everybody. This is a great place for anyone to come just to relax, um, especially if you're looking for some mental health resources. This is gonna be an excellent destination for you to come to for that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time